1st April 2018, rain fell heavily. A female student got up from her motorcycle and sheltered from the rain in front of shop. She just returned home from campus after struggled with books and lessons a whole day. Too bad that she didn't bring the raincoat, so she had to pull over. She opened her op phone while scrolling the social media to get rid of boredom. Suddenly, she heard sound like meow, but she wasn't sure about that and continued scrolling timeline. Meow, that sound again. So she showed where the sound came from. Oh my god, she immediately ran to get the kitten that was rained on. It is about two months old. The kitten was freezing because of the rain. Oh, it's freezing, I feel sorry. Fortunately, she always carried tissue on her back. She wiped down the kitten so that the fur a bit dry and it felt warm. To shorten the story, she decided to bring the kitten and pet it. The kitten is a boy and named Chucky. One year later, Chucky grew up to be a big, frisky, and healthy cat. In the afternoon, Chucky will go out for play with other cats and in the evening, he will be back home. But these two days, Chucky doesn't back home. The students worry about Chucky. She always calls Chucky, hope he will come back home. These past two days, she always going around the housing looking for Chucky, but Chucky still hasn't found yet. One day, at night, she focuses on her phone while reads someone's blog. It tells that the writer has experienced losing its cat and try ask for help from stray cats around the writer's home to find its missing cat. One of the way is feeding the stray cats and talk to them that you need their help to find your cat. After reading the blog, she has thought for doing that tip, but she hesitates if it would work or would not. It has been three days, but Chucky still has not found and returned home. The students doesn't know where else to find Chucky. She cries because she is worrying about Chucky. Is he okay? Have she, have he eaten? Are there something that disturbing him? Suddenly, she remembers about one blog that she read last night and thought, I will try it. Hope Chucky really comes back to home. The next day, early morning at 8 a.m., she brings many food to feed the stray cats and try to ask for help to find Chucky. Actually, there are many stray cats, but just three of them who come to her. Hello guys, please gather here. I bring some food for you. Hope you guys like it. The, the three stray cats gather around her to eat the food. She watches the cats enjoy the food. She starts talking to cat. Hey, I have a cat. Do you guys know Chucky? He always play with you all every day. But it has been four days since his he is missing. He is fat. His fur is black with a little white. His right front leg is black and the left front leg is white. His tail is quite long with black color too. If you don't mind, please find Chucky and bring him to me. Huh, <sighs> it's a pity that I didn't give him some sign like a bracelet. Tell him to come back home, that I miss him and worry about him so much. Sigh, the cats just eat. Seems like they don't care about the story of Chucky is missing. It will not work. But what she doesn't know is that the cats understood what she was asking for. Meanwhile, in the other world, Did you hear what was she asking for? Asked the yellowish cat. Huh? She said his cat is missing. Said the other cat with all black fur. Who? Did we know him? Asked the, yellow, the yellowish cat. It's Chucky, said the older cat in this house. Oh, Chucky. I thought he was dying. Ha 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 ha, said the all black cat. He's... Should we help her to find Chucky? Ah, I think we should, said yellow one. I think I saw him yesterday near the landfills, tell the older one.
Oh, it's too far from here. How did he get there? He's so brave, said all the old black cat. It can, it can be that he was joining with other stray cats and forget the, the ways. Okay, let's find him. Explain the yellowish cat. Hey, it is impossible if he, if he forgot the ways. They start began the journey for finding Chucky. And after a somewhat long journey, they finally arrive at the landfill. They go around in the landfill. It doesn't take long time for them to find Chucky. They see Chucky scratching the garbage. Maybe he looks for food. You sure is that Chucky? Asks the All Black. I think it's him. Let's approach to him. Suggest the yellowish cat. And then they approach to that cat and apparently it is Chucky. Hoi, Chucky, is that you? Asks the older cat. Chucky, who is eating the food waste, immediately stops his activity and looking at them. Looks surprised. Oh, you guys? Why are you here? How did you know I am here? Asks Chucky. The black cat walked toward him and said, We will tell you later, but first let us go home now. I'm hungry too. Yeah, let us go home. Your owner these days are looking for you. She looks sad and frustrated, said the yellow cat. Chucky make a silent and... Is she? Yeah, she is. She is sad because you haven't come back to home for these past four days. Imagine how worried she is. Don't be selfish, cat. Let us go home. Chucky seems to think for a while and then he is nodding. All right, let's go home. The three stray cats sigh of relief. On the way to home, they ask Chucky how he got here. Chucky says that he was in his marriage time, so he looked for girl to be married. And he always followed her that they end up in the landfill. So you eat, sleep here with your girl? Asks the old black cat. Yeah. I was planning to get home today since my girl was gone, but you guys found me first, explained Jockey. You should have come home earlier. What makes you stay here? You should with your owner. She takes care of you very well. I envy you, said the older cat. By the way, your owner asked us to help her to find you. Jockey is in silent. Mm, did she? They are just smiling and nodding. It is already night when they have arrived in housing. Chucky decided to go home because he doesn't want the owner to wait any longer. He also thanking the three stray cats for helping his owner to find him and picked him up. The students is watching TV when she is hearing meow from Chucky. She immediately get up from his sleep position and saw Chucky walk towards her. Oh my god, Chucky, where have you been? I have looked for you somewhere, but you just show up right now. Chucky just meowed. She gives Chucky food because she is afraid that Chucky haven't eaten since he was gone. By the way, you come home right after I asked the stray cats to find you. Did they really looking for you? Hmm, if so, I'm really thankful about that. From now on, I will feed them routinely. Since that moment, the students diligently give a lot of the stray cat foods. She feels very grateful for that incident. People may think that this is a stupid way or just waste our time to talk to cats or any animals, but who knows that this way it really works. There are many things that we do not know and we have to learn or experience it at least once in a lifetime.